Right, welcome back. Um, some more work has been done on the lifeboat. And as you can see, the interior cabin is complete. Basically, painting the dashboard in black. And then using a bit of paper in my son's printer, I printed off a couple of um, instrument panels. I mean, you've got the um, GPS and like a sonar screen there. You've got like a barometer and a wind speed meter in there. You can't really make them out that really well. There's um, a little dash there with some kind of GPS on it. And I'm going with the trend of putting some maps in that empty space. So I went to Hollyhead when I was a kid in Anglesey. So I'm going to build this lifeboat to Hollyhead. So I've got a North Wales map underneath. And at a slight angle, I've pre-sticked um, a little Hollyhead map on. Going on to the actual driver and co-driver. Basically what I've done, I glued them into their seats first. And then between these uh, stanchion uprights, I then lowered the um, dashboard very gently into place and then just glued around the edges there and around the edge there. And it's sitting an absolute treat. So that's the interior all done. Now come the superstructure. Um, basically, um, I used the sides of the, the interior cage as a guide and basically just gl glued Round on the front panel there with the windows, just went glue there, glue on the other side and on the inside. And then to make it a bit more sturdier, I actually glued that rear cabin door in with the actual cabin hatch. You're actually supposed to glue that onto the deck according to the instructions, but I've done it this way. So it's nice and sturdy. Once that was dry, I then I put this panel in underneath and then glued it to the bottom of the window panel. Now um, this panel here actually is supposed to glue into there, but on the instructions, it tells you to glue that in separately. Don't do that, number 43. Glue 43 into the bottom of there when you do the superstructure, because painting this later on, I'm going to have to mask the rest of the deck off and leave that panel and that raised section, which is already built into the deck. I'm going to have to just paint those two little pieces, so all this has got to be masked off just to paint those. So glue that into there. Right, I'm just going to demonstrate this now. You can see that I can easily slip it on. And that will press down onto there as you can see. So like I said, glue that into that. Now, you've got this little like do-free box, whether it's a utility box, I don't know. With this back wall having to glue it into the superstructure, you can see there's a raised section there where that will sit. It was actually a raised line, so it'll sit onto the line. I've had to file that down because it's actually, the wall has come out more slightly and it wouldn't sit right down, so I've sanded that off. So that little box there is going to have to come a bit more forward on the deck. But as you can see, with that and the superstructure, you can get a basic size of what this is going to be like. But I'm really happy so far with my progress. Stay with me. Right, work continues on the lifeboat. I started work on the roof, ready to mount it into the actual superstructure. Um, basically, I've got to create all of that. That is the upper um, steering wheel console area. So basically, you've got that front panel there, and I've mounted the LED in. Using the glue and glaze, I've drilled a little hole there originally i drilled the hole there but i realized um it, the console is actually further back but i stuck it through there just to see how it would light up the cabin it's lighted up a treat so i've just refilled that in you can see the leds through there now originally i was thinking how the hell am i going to hide this um led section with those black wires i'm, I'm assuming those are the resistors that was those are dead easy to hide that's not a problem but coming into it gluing that on and then gluing the rear with the console on and then you've got there's a panel that's going to go on top of there with the steering wheel. And then there's going to be another panel that's going to go on the side there. So that's actually solved my issue with hiding that big resistor wire. Now, the actual two wires are going to be dead easy to um, hide because they're really thin. So I've drilled a hole there and there through that box. So I'm going to feed it through, down that hole. And then that hole will align with that hole there, which I've grinded out, because you can see it's solid on that stanchion. 
the um, upright and that's going to be fed down there through that hole into the hull. So that's my lighting issue solved. I was actually quite panicking a lot about that where I was going to hide that. But now that's pretty much ready to be mounted onto the superstructure. Stay with me. Right, work continues on the lifeboat. And as you can see, I've now completed the upper um, command area. Um, you can see um, I've put the uh, console on. And I've put the two side walls on, as you can see there. So the wires and the LED are inside there. I've also um, put the rear bulkheads on as well, if that's what you call them, I don't know. Uh, basically, um, you add the, the wall that connects up to there, and then you've got the top um, piece there, and then the side piece, which then glues into the side of the actual uh, superstructure, both sides. Um, you can see that I've also primed it now. Um, basically, I've done the grey primer then the white on top. Because using the Halfords Brilliant Orange, reading the instructions on the side, it says put a primer coat down and then a white coat down and then spray the orange on top. So this is ready for orange paint. Um, now the wires you can see there. Basically I changed my mind about going through the top so I went underneath and then just uh, PVA glued it there. And then that's all loose because that is, like I said before, that's going to go on down into that channel, down into the hull. So this is now ready for the orange coat. Stay with me. Right, as you can see, my orange coat is now on the superstructure. Didn't go, to t didn't go down too bad at all. It's gone down as a gloss uh, shine. Using my Halfords Volkswagen Brilliant Orange. Went down not too bad. Now you can see I took all the tape off the inside as well. Actually bum clenching time on the taking the tape off the actual wire. Because I used normal household masking tape. When I put masking tape on a surface, it, it doesn't mind peeling off. But, you know, trying to peel it off the wire and it's folded over on itself, the actual glue on each side of the bit of masking tape was a right bitch to get off. It's like bloody super glue. And luckily I didn't cut any cut into the wire, which I was quite thankful of. I've also got in, inside of the that door there, the, the hatch, um, quite difficult to get in there but I managed to get in there just by turning it over like this. So all I've got to do now is just uh, paint the uh, midnight blue part on the bottom. But not too bad at all. Stay with me. Right, welcome back. You can see that I've done a lot of work on the superstructure. Starting with the um, <clears throat> excuse me with the little border tape, I made a straight line and painted the midnight blue on. Took two coats, both sides as you can see. Once that was dry, I started on the interior. Studied some photos on the internet of the lifeboat. The front the front command area is black, so I've done that. And then with the light grey, done the rear of the cabin. And then painted round the light in silver so it might reflect it a bit better because I think this is going to be quite dark inside. Um, once that was done, <clears throat> I then wented, went with the silver and done the frames of the windows. Went all the way around and on the front and on the other side as you can see. And then just topped up with my silver. On the inside as well, I've done all that. And then you've got these things on the side and the front here, done those in white. Took about three or four coats to get that right. Once that was done, I started on the um, interior clear parts. Now these clear sprues are not the best in the world. You can see the bobbles actually moulded into the glass and the clarity is not very good at all. You can see it's all blurry. You can see it's not very clear at all. 
After being warned by Big Dave on Brick Modeler, I decided to change. I decided not to use those windows. Got me some very thin plastic sheeting from the recycling at work. Clear. It's like blister pack. And I just cut those out in the various shapes that I needed. Slightly bigger than the window frames, glued them on the inside. So that part was especially difficult because I couldn't get any of the clamps round that or round the sides. So I picked up me a pair of white cotton gloves that you clean glass with, just buffed them up slightly, and then held them in for 15 minutes using the glue and glaze because it takes 15 minutes to bond. So I just sat with my wife watching her TV and just held them in, each one for 15 minutes. So I did that one first, did those two at the same time, and did those two at the same time. And over the course of 45 minutes, they're glued in perfect, and they've dried a treat. And you can see, let me just turn this over, you can see the clarity is a hell of a lot better. A cheap solution, indeed. Hell of a lot clearer. Once those were dry, I then decided to go again with the um, 36157 grey, which I painted the deck in. I decided to paint all this area here for the um, non-slip um, walking surface. So I've done all that there. Uh, that section there where the ladder's going to be, where they come down, and on the ladders themselves, so it's a non-slip surface. I'm going to mat that so it'll look a hell of a lot better once it's dry, once the mat's dry. But this now superstructure is ready to be mounted on that. Stay with me. Right, as you can see, the superstructure has now been glued onto the hull. Uh, basically, went all the way around the edges, on top of there, all the way around them edges, um, I turn the superstructure over, I put glue all the way around the, um, these bulkheads here. And then using my clamps, I had one there, one there, one on the other one bulkhead and one on the other one. I put a bit of household masking tape so that it wouldn't mark the plastic. Because I painted it orange, as you know. Um, 24 hours later, it glued perfect, absolutely wonderful. It's even, like I said, it's gone down right to the floor. You can also see that this section here has now been painted. I basically put a load of newspaper on the superstructure, um, a bit around the actual windows, just in case some of the orange spray got in with the white. Um, masked off all this area with the tape, and then the rest of this off with the newspaper. And you can see it's got an absolute treat. I've got a few touch-ups here I'm going to do here and there with my orange paint. Should, it does match pretty well. And then all I've got to do then is just uh, top it around the edges of that, um, that hatch cover where it's on the deck. You can see where the orange has gone to the deck. But uh, I'm loving how this has gone on. Not too bad at all. Stay with me.